Um, this is Norman Rockwell's studio, um, the way it would have appeared in October of 1960, when he was busy completing his painting Golden Rule. Um, and actually behind me, you know, is his space where he would have answered his correspondence, like fan mail, um, but also, um, you know, documents related to his business correspondence. Um, since the museum acquired the studio and moved it to its campus in 1986, uh, the studio has really been reflective of Ruffles last years. Um, so when he was producing less work, um, he produced very few artworks after 1976. Um, and so it became, it, it was really reflective of a very inactive space. Um, but of course in 1960 it would have been very active. Um, he was still working for the Saturday Evening Post. Um, it was a transitional period of his life. Um, he had just lost his wife Mary um, in 1959, and he was yet to marry um, his third wife, Molly Rockwell, um, which would happen in 1961. So it's a very transitional period, and it's going to be a really exciting installation. Some of my favorite objects that are part of this new reinstallation um, would be a pipe that's similar to one Rockwell smoked. Um, people often ask if we have any of the pipes he smoked, and we do not. We have pipes that were gifted to him that he never used. But we did have um, a very generous donor donate a Dunhill pipe, um, which is of the type that he smoked. But I'm also a, a big fan of the, the prints um, that he would have had hanging on the walls in 1960, which would have inspired his artwork. So prints by um, Canaletto, Picasso, Rembrandt, um, and some of his favorite artists. He was working on these two portraits um, of Ken and Catherine Stewart. Uh, Ken Stewart would have been the art editor of the Saturday Evening Post at the time, and a good friend of Rockwell's. And um, we have this great correspondence in our archives from um, Stuart to Rockwell and from Catherine uh, Stuart to Rockwell about um, thanking him for the portraits and how great they turned out. And so there'll be an item by item description booklet in the studio for visitors to take a look at um, if they're interested in the more detailed aspects of each individual object. <laughs> Um, well, the studio reinstallation here at the museum has been really a team effort um, between our installation team, you know, having to work from historic photographs to understand um, the placement of the objects in the studio, it's exact to how Rockwell would have placed them, um, to our IT crew um, having to adjust the color of faded prints to make them look like they would have looked like in 1960 and not how they faded um, over time um, to 1978. Um, and then, you know, just purchasing different objects or, you know, getting um, objects in as donations or, and trying to replace objects that didn't come with the studio when we acquired it. Um, it's like the radio that's in his studio, actually. Um, the one that he had in his studio from 1960 um, did not come with the studio when we acquired it in 78, so that was an eBay purchase. 